Hello and welcome to the farm and welcome to this week's blog for our heirloom Afghan crochet along. This week we will be completing block 20. It is a plain square all done in single crochets with just a few chains here and there. It's a tricky one. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be working today with whatever you have determined to be your color A for your heirloom Afghan, your size H crochet hook, and I'm really going to highly suggest that for this square you get a form of a stitch marker. Now they do have these relatively inexpensive stitch markers available at the store or if you don't have one you can use a bobby pin as well. But for this one I highly recommend you have some way to mark your stitches. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start with a slip knot and get that onto our size H crochet hook. And we're going to loosely chain four. One, two, three, and four. Placing our hook into our first chain, we're going to grab our yarn and pull it through and this is going to create a little ring that we're going to work some stitches into here. Now as it was with our last block, don't work into the stitch where you joined. Make sure you work into this little ring right here. We're going to chain one. I want you to note where this chain is. Go ahead and add your stitch marker to that chain. And then we're going to place 11 single crochet into the ring that we created by joining our chains together. So we want 11 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. You can either work over your tail or move it out of the way, it doesn't matter. And you're going to run out of real estate here in this ring real quick. So you can kind of push those single crochet over to give yourself more room. Six, seven, eight, it's getting tight. <laughs> nine, ten, and eleven. So you have one chain and eleven single crochet around. We're going to slip stitch into the chain that we created. So if you can visually note where that is, go ahead and take your stitch marker out and go ahead and join with a slip stitch to that chain. It's going to be a little bit tight, but go ahead and put your hook through there and do that there. All right, give your tail a little tug there and close up that ring a little bit. You have a really nice little ring here of 11 single crochet and the one chain that we slip stitched into. Let's move on to round two. For round two, you're going to chain one. Grab your stitch marker again and go ahead and put it through that chain and it'll make a little bit more sense once we get going here. It's very easy to lose where you're at as you're going around and it will make your square be a little cattywampus if you don't put your stitches exactly where they need to be. So we have our chain marked and here we have all of our single crochet around. We're going to be working now and throughout the rest of our block, except for our border, of course. We'll be working in the back loop of our stitches. So if we look at our stitch here, we have the front loop and the back loop. When we do our stitches, we want to make sure that we're just placing our hook into the back loop only of all of the stitches that we're going to be working in, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, moving on to round two. We've chained one and we're going to single crochet in the first single crochet, which is right here. So we've got our chain and this is our single crochet. We're just going to place a single crochet right there. In our next stitch, our next single crochet in the back loop only, we're going to place three single crochet. One, two, and three. We're going to place one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet in the back loops only. So here's a single crochet here and a single crochet here. 
and we're going to place three single crochet in the next one. One, two, and three. And as you can see, we're taking our round one, which is a round form, and we're going to start adding the three in the corner, which gives it the corners. So when we do three in one stitch, it gives us this little corner so we can have our block start to form. Continuing on, we're going to place one single crochet in each of the next two. So here's one single crochet there. Going to the next stitch, there's one single crochet there. Again, working in the back loops only. In our next stitch, we're placing three single crochet in that one stitch, again in the back loop only. One single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. We're going to place three single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch, which gives us our fourth and final corner. You can see how our little block is forming here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip over this. We don't want to do anything with this. This is not a single crochet. It really kind of just is our slip stitch from before where we joined. We want the back loop of this chain that we marked and we're just going to slip stitch into here and this slip stitch in, in an essence here creates a single crochet for us so that we have two single crochet in between our corners. So that completes round two. Make sure that you slip stitch into the chain not into the slip stitch from the prior round. So there's round two of our little square that we're working on here. We're going to chain one and start round three with that chain one, but again we're going to take our stitch marker and go ahead and put that in that chain so you know where that chain is. Okay. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. So here's one and one single crochet in the next one. And we're going to place three single crochet in our next stitch back loop only. That creates the first of our corners. Two and three. Now working across this side, we're going to place one single crochet in each of the next four single crochet. Now we only did two here because we're in the middle of our square and then we did a corner. Working across this full side, we're going to place one single crochet in each of the four across. One, two, three, and four. In our next stitch, we're placing our three single crochet that are going to create our next corner. One, two, and three. So you can see here that we've got the portion of this side, a little corner forming, our second side, and our little corner that we've just completed. And as we work around, once again, we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop of each of the next four stitches across. If you remember from our earlier round, we worked in just two, now we're working in four. So here's one, two, three, and four. In our next stitch, we're going to go into the back loop and place three single crochet, creating our next corner, two, three, and now working along this side again, one single crochet in each of the next four stitches, back loops only, one, two, three, and four. We're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch, creating our final corner of this round. So here's one, two, and three. Now keep in mind, we started with two 
single crochet we need four across we have a single crochet right here we're going to go ahead and place one single crochet in that single crochet we're going to skip over this slip stitch where we joined and we're going to use the back loop of our chain as our fourth single crochet so just slip stitch into that chain and that gives us the fourth okay take our stitch marker out and let's look at what we've got here look at that nice little square starting to form we're going to move on now to row one two three four we're going to chain one and once again grab your stitch marker place it through that chain don't place it through the loop that's on your hook that's not your chain your chain is down here okay now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three single crochet across to our corner so here's one two and three we're at our corner now so we're going to place three single crochet in that stitch all by itself that creates our corner now we're going to walk work we're not going to walk <laughs> now we're going to work across to this corner you know row two had two in between row three had four in between row one two three four is going to have six in between each time we work between corners our row has grown by two so where before down here we had four up here we have six and that's because when we work in our corner remember we're working three here and we're only going to do our corner in the very middle one so we have an extra one here and an extra one here so we're going to work six across to our next corner so one single crochet in each stitch across for a count of six so here's one again working in the back loops only two three four five and six now we're at the corner we're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch one two and three working across this side of our square we're going to go ahead again one more time one two three four five six one single crochet across each of the next six single crochet to the next corner one two three four five and six here we are at the corner here we're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch one two three creating our corner working across this side of our block now we're going to place a single crochet in each of the next six single crochet so there's three four five and six here we are where we're going to be creating our final corner of this round placing three single crochet in that corner there one two and three into that stitch now we started with three single crochet across we need a total of six so here is one single crochet two single crochet we're going to slip that stitch we're going to skip we're going to skip this slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch into our first chain and count that as our third single crochet and of course we have four five six across and so that completes that round taking our stitch marker out we're going to just start repeating the very same thing as our square grows we've completed and closed that round and you can see our little corners here you can see these little holes that they create when we put three into a stitch you can see how they're lining up see how they line up here and they line up here 
perfect little diagonals. If you're working on your square and you notice that these little squares are off, go back, take it out to that point and see where maybe you've miscounted. This is going to be a square where you have to be really on top of your count, okay? So moving on to the next round, we're going to chain one, and place our stitch marker in that chain. Now last round we started with three across, this round we're going to start with four across. So here's one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and four single crochet. We've worked our way to the corner, we're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch one, two, and three. That creates our first corner of this round. Now as we work down this first full side of our block, this row had six. We know we're going to add two more to that for our next row here, so we're going to work eight. Let's look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and that takes us right here to this next corner where we will be placing three single crochet to make that corner. We're going to create eight single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We've reached our corner. We're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, and three. And we're going to work eight single crochet across to our next corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're here at this stitch here where we're going to place three single crochet to create our corner. One, two, and three. Working along this side we're going to place eight single crochet across, one in each stitch. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My dog is snoring in the background. Here at the next stitch we're going to place three to create our corner. One, two, and three. Now here we are on our last across on this round. We've got our chain that we've marked and then we did one, two, three, four across. We need eight total which means we need four here. So we're going to go one, two, three into our single crochets. We're going to skip over that slip stitch where we joined and our four is going to be the slip stitch into the chain. Not a single crochet but a slip stitch and let's remove our marker and that completes closing off that round. Okay, so let's discuss how this block is coming together. I know this is a confusing one. I've heard from a few people who have done this pattern before and their count is off and they get confused and that is why I highly suggest using the stitch marker. Okay, because you want to skip over that slip stitch and always join into the chain. When you're working on your sides, let's remember this, when we put our threes in the corner and we come around and we're only placing three in the corner, again we've got one on either side of that. So increases our sides by two every time. So this one was eight. 
our next round will be 10 in between the corners, the next round will be 12 in between the corners, the next round will be 14 between the corners, and our square is just going to continue to grow in that fashion. When we close off a round and we start on just this half until we get to a corner, remember that this is always going to increase just by one and then we kind of make it up on this side here. So this one we did four, our next round one will start with five, six, seven, eight, etc. Always making up for it on the back side and always making sure that the very last count is the slip stitch into the chain. Now because this square is difficult and it is easy to lose count, I'm going to work through each round with you starting this corner here this side to the corner and then one corner around one side around starting here and working to the corner completing a corner and completing one side I'll go off camera to complete this side corner and this side corner and then I'll catch up with you just when we're counting across to join and I'm going to do that for the subsequent rounds just so that you have your count you can go back to it and listen to it um, throughout the video so you know where you need to be so we just completed round one two, three, four, and five. We're moving on to round six now. Round one, two, three, four, five, yeah. <laughs> round six, we're going to go ahead and chain one, grab our stitch marker, and place it on the chain. We're going to go ahead and place five across, one, two, three, four, five, and then at this corner here is where we're going to place our three. So it's five across, so here we go. Here's one single crochet, two, three, four, and five. We're going to place three in the corner, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work 10 across to the next corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and then three in the corner. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place three single crochet in the very next stitch, creating a quarter. One, two, and three. And we see that our corner lines up with these holes that we've done prior. Okay, you're going to work 10 single crochet across and place three in your corner in the very next stitch after 10. Then 10 across this side and then place three in the corner. And I'll meet up with you here and we'll finish off this row together. Okay, I've just completed the three single crochet in the corner. Remember we want 10 single crochet per side we started this row with five, so we need five over here, but remember it's going to be one, two, three, four. Skip over the slip stitch and slip stitch into the chain, the back of the chain that will create the five that we need over here. So here's one, two, three, four, skipping over the slip stitch, and slip stitching into the chain creates five. Remember, it's a slip stitch, not a single crochet. All right, there we go. We've completed rounds one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a little trick I wanna share with you. We just completed round six. When we started round six, we needed to start with five single crochets. We're going to complete round seven 
on round seven, we'll start with six single crochet. So it's always one less of whatever round you're on. So for instance, round five, we started with four. Round three, we started with two, etc. So moving on to our next round, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're moving on to round seven. We're going to go ahead and take this stitch marker out. We're going to chain one, placing our stitch marker in the chain, not in the loop that's on our hook and not in the slip stitch before it, but in the actual chain. Now we're working on round seven, so we want to do the first six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll place our corner right here. Working in the back loops, one single crochet, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to place our three single crochet to create our corner. One, two, three. Now working down this side, we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 single crochet across until we get to the corner and we'll place our three in the corner. So in each single crochet, one single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We can see where our corner is to line up and here is this stitch here. We're going to place three single crochet in that stitch to make our next corner. Two and three. Okay, so work across this side here, placing one single crochet in each of the next 12 single crochet. Place three in the corner for your corner. 12 single crochet, place three for your corner. And I'll meet up with you here so we can finish off this first part of our square. Okay, I just finished my three single crochet into our very last corner here. We started with six single crochet across. We need a total of 12. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. Skip the slip stitch. Slip stitch into the chain, which makes six. So that will be six plus six will be 12. And that will finish off our round. So here's one, two, three, four, five, skipping over the slip stitch and going into the back of our chain and completing a slip stitch counts as a single crochet. So we have six and then six more here for 12. And that completes round seven. Moving on to round eight, we're going to take out our stitch marker. We're going to chain one, place our stitch marker on that chain. Since we're round eight, we know that we want seven across to the corner. So here's one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to be placing a corner here in this next stitch. So we're going to place three single crochet in the next stitch, back loops only. Remember, we're working in back loops all the way. Okay, now working down this side, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Remember, the last round was twelve. We're adding two to that. So this Next round, we will have 14 in between our corners. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. We're going to place three in the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet. That makes our corner. You're going to work 14 across, three in the next stitch to create your corner, 14 across, three to make your corner in the next stitch, and I will meet up with you there so that we can finish off this round, round eight. Okay, I'm at the final corner here of round eight. We know for round eight I started with seven single crochet and I need 14 in total. See how it's cut in half every time, almost to perfection. So I already have seven, which means I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, skipping my slip stitch and placing seven as a slip stitch in the top of that chain. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, skipping over that slip stitch and slip stitching into the back of the chain actually gives us seven and then we have seven across to here. Okay, now you're just going to continue doing this, okay? Always starting in the middle of your side here and going halfway with what you need. 14 means we need seven. Three in the corner, 14, seven. Your next round is going to be round number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be round nine. So we know that for round nine, you're going to start with eight single crochet because it's one less than the round. Three in the corner. And this one was 14 across. We're gonna go 16 across to the next corner, placing three in your next stitch, 16 across, three in the next corner, 16 across, three in the next corner. We started with eight. We're going to do seven single crochets, skip the slip stitch, and slip stitch into the chain. That will ultimately make your 16 across. You're going to continue growing in those incremental numbers until your block is approximately seven inches in square or lines up to the size of one of your previous squares. Here's a square that I did last week with you. This is our circle in a square. It does not have the border on it yet. And so if I place this on here, I can see that I have, you know, probably three, maybe four more rounds to go. When I get to the end of my final round and everything measures up, I'll meet up with you there. Okay, I have completed my final round and I have it lying here on the previous square that we showed earlier. It pretty much lines up. I think that's as big as I'm going to go. Round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I completed twelve rounds to complete my square. Now keep in mind, based on your tension and your gauge, it may take you ten rounds, eleven rounds, twelve rounds, it may take you thirteen rounds. Just make sure it's the same size as the blocks that we've been making for our heirloom afghan. Now don't finish off your yarn. You're going to want to keep your yarn and you're going to want to go ahead and complete your edging. I'll make sure that there's a link to that in the description box. And remember, for your edging, you will be going through both 
the front loop and the back loop as you work your way around with your two rounds of edging. Those will both be done in whatever color you've chosen to be color A. Okay, so that's it for this block, this beautiful plain square. I know it's a tricky one. I've had several people reach out to me and say, I get stuck on this one every time. And the trick is not counting that slip stitch so you don't end up with an extra stitch in the middle. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I really enjoyed putting this one together with you, and it is a really fun block. You can block this if you'd like to to make sure it's all nice and straight, but I promise once you get your afghan put together, you're really not going to need to do that. Get your border on. Grab yourself a tag so you can mark on here that this is block number 20, our plain square for our heirloom afghan crochet along. Until I see you again here on the farm, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.